The ageing of populations around the world is a change of enormous proportions. It's hard to describe how much this is currently changing our world and how much it will change it in the future. Aging is a research priority for the University of Manchester. One of the ways that they demonstrate that is by supporting MICRO. And our role as an institute is to bring people together to collaborate on some of the biggest uh, questions around aging of the day. How do we actually make life better? And that may be by improving people's environments, improving their finances, trying to influence national policies around whether people should be expected to work for longer. But also a lot of our work is just exposing what is happening in the world. So for example, if you look at some of the work on ageing and ethnicity, on ageing and gender, on all sorts of health inequalities, on social inequalities, for people to understand that ageing is a very unequal process. It's only when we start to understand that that we can think about how to change it, how to improve it for the better. You know, this is, uh, I think, one of the, particularly as an academic, it's one of our most fundamental objectives. We understand what's happening, we show the consequences of it, we predict the ways it might happen in the future, and we show the truth to power, to hold governments and policymakers to account. <laughs>